What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. (laughs) Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Welcome in. It's getting gross here today. I think my favorite part was Jason was doing his traditional head bob, trying to get into the scat mood but scat then his, zone. his his face started to become a grotesque angry disgusted uh kind of grimace started to think about some of the foods on today's episode and mm. made me angry yeah and uh, isn't it uh i mean that was a sound <laughs> welcome in we I are- hope i hope you know we've we've got i don't know how many hundreds of thousands of people are listening but w- w- the sheer volume someone threw up because they're sympathetic puker? Sympa- sympathetic puker was just driving and had oh, no idea all over that I, what I was going to do to them. Their, their, their steering wheel is toast. Oh, man. I've never thought of, like, the driver of a car hurling directly forward. <laughs> just that the, has to have happened. It has to have oh, happened. Oh, for sure. I mean, we all if we're all in that situation, we try to – I mean, I once jumped off a city bus – and insta hurled. I mean, I'm talking. I was probably mid flight off of the bus, right on right the in, street. I've gone head out of a New York cab. No, you have wow. not. I have, yeah. Head out yes. of a cab. <laughs> yes. Is that a high moment of your life? It was awful. It was, and this was. Was anybody in the? This st- was not party related. This was like just full motion sickness, and it was the, um. And that's it, just what you felt like was the best I option, had, right? I had no choice. It was, the option was. I mean, you could he in the have, into yeah. the window or out the window. It, it was, wasn't like pull over. I gotta get out. I. It's a very strange place to be when all of a sudden you go, when you're like, I, I, this isn't gonna happen. I could fight it. I could fight it. No, it's gonna happen, and I it cannot be stopped. It was. It was like it's a little. It's I, making me a little sick to my no, stomach. Sorry, yeah. sorry. No, yeah. that's fine. I'm trying to get <laughs> someone to throw up on their steering wheel right now. Wow. Yeah, that that one's that's a heck of a story. Uh Jason, did you want to contribute to any No, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh I don't have any great awful vomiting uh, stories. Like have to vomit right now stories. Mm. All right, well, we'll move on. Yep. Uh we are jumping into would you rather today? What's the difference? And our draft is the worst four course meal that you can make. So, that's why Jason sounded the way he did at the beginning of the show. At Spitballers Pod on X, you can follow us there. SpitballersPod.com is the website. And uh, tell your friends about the show. If you want them to, uh, well, maybe not this one. Maybe not this episode. <laughs> yeah. if, they're, if they're a sympathetic Wait till next week. Um, let's kick it off. Would you rather? Would you rather have the world's largest pimple on the tip of your nose? Or a piece of toilet paper hanging out of your pants. The Rudolph pimple is it's tough. <laughs> it's <laughs> we've it's, all had a oh yeah small of course, one. yes everyone, one of life's greatest challenges. Everyone has had the mm. the bright red pimple on the tip of your nose, and you look like you're about to guide the sleigh <laughs> through the, through the winter storm. And it's and there's it, not much you can. I mean, that's a it's not a spot to hide it's something. And it's too close to your eyes where the other person can't not <laughs> look at it. Because it oh, it's always right. in their yeah. field of vision. Yep. So they're trying. Yeah. They're trying to look you in the eyes and they can't do it. And they're like, don't don't look. Don't uh, and they're doing the thing where the eyes are probably yeah. just shaking because <laughs> they're going between your nose and your eyes. And it hurts. Yes, yeah. there is. That. I mean, if it, if this is big enough emotionally to, and physically, I was gonna say if this is big enough to guide a sleigh, it's not feeling good. Now I'm a little confused on the toilet paper. As am I. As am I. Hanging out of your pants. No, why is it hanging out of your? Why isn't it hanging off your shoe? Because you stepped on something. Yeah, or or if if it was left there, like, wouldn't it be hanging out the bottom of your pants? Or or I guess yeah. I'm seeing. We like, need we need a um, we need to know how many inches of toilet paper is hanging because that will matter to me. Also, is it like a foot? Why? 
in why has it become a, it's a known oh so embarrassing right you used the restroom as every every human being does and you just you stepped on a piece of toilet paper that was obviously a, a little bit wet because then it stuck to your shoe how why is it's, that such a terrible thing it's just you accidentally it's took gross. the bathroom with you you yeah, know it's what gross, i mean gross, man you're you're walking that but that's what it's just it's you're walking it's pee unhygienic. around. Yeah. You're just you're tr you're it tracking just... the pee, or worse, with you. But it's, it's so funny to me. I like, get that it can be like, a complete accident. It's just you you if you see that happen to somebody, like, what a slob! How gross of yeah, this think... person. <laughs> well, let me ask you this, Mike: If you saw toilet paper on the ground in the yeah. bathroom and you yeah. notice it, yeah. Would you choose to just walk your normal pace, your normal gait that just so happens to step on that piece of toilet paper, or would you widen your 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 no, step I and I would, step over? The I would toilet choose paper. not to step on it. So that's part of it, right? Jason's it's like, saying it's a choice. Yeah, <laughs> Jason's saying <laughs> yes. that if you if you pull if you made the choice to you made the choice to not look around in the bathroom well enough. So you've become poopy because yeah. toilet paper equal poop equal you equal poop so would you rather be rudolph or poop <sighs> i mean it's the toilet paper yeah it's definitely it's, the, it's toilet. the toilet paper that's that's a that's a small i mean you it's 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 the situation where it's like someone says oh dude your fly's open and then you go oh no and then you then you, you fix you, it you, you have the instant <laughs> all the memories rushing back what have i done today <laughs> yes. with my fly wide open and it it's, would be the same for the toilet paper of, oh man, how long has this been yeah. there? But but it once you catch it, you remove you dispose of it. Could the, I wear a pair? The of pimple is going to be there for a while. Could I wear a pair of glasses low enough to where it sits? It's at the tip of your nose. <laughs> it's at the man. very tip. It would, your glasses would have to be resting on the pimple uh, as the as the <laughs> have, rest. Yes. Have you seen the clips of the guy who has the gigantic mole? on his forehead and the whole bit is he always takes his glasses up oh and he sets and, them up and then on he the hangs mole. them on the mole i, I have, have i have seen that yeah. i have not seen that oh so well, wait you guys are choosing want to talk about making you vomit <laughs> you want the toilet paper on your shoe yeah over the pimple the pimple's there for days yeah so well, is the toilet paper you don't get to just take it away this is not like a one-time thing so you're saying you, have you don't get to just fix it. Someone you, goes, hey, you got you got okay, toilet paper okay. hanging out of your pants. You go, I know. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, right. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, I do. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> that's so, why I was asking how hey, much is hanging out. You want some? Yeah, it's got a, yeah, why, you need some? Yeah. I think it's uh, a foot. Yeah, I think it's a foot. It's a, it's a You're long. You're dragging. It's, yes. It's a teepee tail? Yes, it's a teepee it's tail. It's a teepee tail. <laughs> I'm still picking the teepee tail. I mean, in this scenario, the way that Al or whoever made this doc wrote it up, you've dropped like an almost completely empty toilet paper roll down your pants and the went to the bottom of your pants and a little bit's hanging out. <laughs> I I mean, I I guess I still have to choose that. Yeah, yeah, the the pimple on the tip of your nose. Maybe I can walk in a way where I, you can't tell. Yeah, you're just always paying facing attention. Facing directly at them. Yeah, I'm I'm always facing everybody. I don't when I when I leave the room, I'm leaving you're backwards. Just, you're just spinning with people as they, yeah, oh yeah. as they move around. Like, what are you doing? Why? He always walks on the outside of the room. So it's kind of <laughs> weird. Just keeps his back to the wall. All right, we don't want the pimple. Uh, no. We'll move on. Would you rather have to be a beekeeper oh, or a spider my breeder? Goodness. I just saw the sunglasses resting on the mole. Oh, welcome to the party gigantic it's it's a thing all right let me before i would get to the next <laughs> would you rather now i have to circle back because i have to ask a real question okay i'm going to turn this into a uh that's a great question help me out life no life advice all right so you guys have answered the pimple one right jason's face <laughs> is saying ruined for the rest of my like life <laughs> have you run into people who have a blemish that you know is very easily removable and correctable Okay. But then, like, they just leave it. You know what I mean? And then right. that's like... What do you know? What What do you mean by you know is easily fixable? Give me an example. Like a giant mole on your face. Like, if you had one of those, would you get that? I mean, you'd get it removed, yes. right? Yes. Personally, I would, yeah. But you think it's a choice of, like, some people don't because they don't well, want to? They don't know they can? 
I mean, you like why are we keeping the giant? There's you well, still this, have well, the sunglasses, man. I mean, that's going to be a huge scar in the middle of your forehead. So it's as opposed to <laughs> I'm just saying you upgrade. have upgrade. I'm just saying you have to make the choice of to you what it, what would you rather have there because there's going to be something there either way. Like I get uh I get uh lipomas and there which that is like it's just a random spot in your body anywhere. And it's just they build up a fatty tissue that over time then just continues to grow and grow. You got to get them taken out. Where it looks like when they're when they become very large, it pretty much looks like a tumor where wherever it is. And you're like, and yeah, when it's not the tumor. And so, uh, so like I I have some now in like my torso area, where it's at this point now of. That's gonna be a huge scar. Oh, you like let a, it, did you let it go too far? Well, it's just, you sometimes you don't know until it's too it's too late. No, oh. because they can be deeper, and then just like once mm. they finally start oh. pushing towards the surface, like that's gonna be a humongous scar. So you have to make the choice of what what do you rather? Would you rather just have the lump there, or would you rather have a well, gigantic here, scar? Here's the life advice question though: Is that if you see somebody with, is there a polite way to to say you should get that out? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I man. don't think no. so. If it's no. something you care about <laughs> no. and you love. No. no. No? No. There's there's no way to politely suggest that, you know, the technology's your, really been changing. If, if it's your spouse, if it's direct yeah. family, yeah. you know, like You don't like me the way I am. In the nuclear family. More. It's got to be it's got to be close. Not like a cousin you see sometimes. Get, it's got to be get, someone that like <laughs> you can yeah. just say, "Hey, I think you should get that removed. That's fine. Papa Josh says, but, give him a gift card to a dermatologist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. happy birthday. That Why is it $443.22? Well, that's the, <laughs> that is that's the, the price, price after tax to get that thing gone. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, there is no polite. There's no polite way to tell someone, hey, you should remove that mole. You just, like, what? Okay, just make it sure. The I feel like the only way to go about it is... You concoct We're a story. We're all getting our moles off. Let's no. go. You you tell a story of oh you know I had a close friend had a mole look just like that. It oh, was, oh no! And they went and looked and it was skin cancer. It was highly cancerous and they're they're dead now because they no. didn't take care of it. <laughs> right? No. Yeah. So it, it, it was a so so just yeah. for boy. Just, I had a I had a friend and their nose is about that size and. <laughs> We're that, just getting a nose thing. job now. Well, it, it, it just seems like the same thing. All right. Would you <laughs> rather? If I, had, I had a friend whose lips, were, they were just so tiny. You, yeah. you got to plump those up. <laughs> they, they, they got cancer of the lip. They're <laughs> yeah. dead now. Um, their lips weren't big enough to survive. All right. Would you rather have to be a beekeeper or a spider breeder? Jason, <laughs> what? Jason's, what? Jason had a very strong reaction there. I mean, I, what is a, I don't know who put this in here. What does a spider breeder even do? Nothing. They, it's just they, this is somebody set this up for Jason. I mean, to you're be just ruined. you're just farming spiders, right? Because I mean, there are if you have you know do larger, people do this? If you have larger farm animals, there are procedures that you have to help the the animal to actually get pregnant. But what is what does a spider breeder do? Just has Jason? Them. Just no, has them. I can't even. I can't even with this question. Like I, I'm really having a. I just the not con- tarantulas. Oh, con- uh, just the concept. Uh, Let's. All you're the, going bees. I'm going bees. All, all right. the pukers at home are like, yeah, take that, Jason. <laughs> oh man, that's. I'm that's like, what you get? I am crawling right now. Like a spider? Yeah, like like they're like they are crawling all over me. This is <laughs> like into that pocket on your shirt. Just the concept of spider breeder. So that means you're housing. What? Well, no, I mean, they're in cages and stuff. Yeah, but they're like I they, mean, they could probably they get don't out. have a yeah. litter. It can't you be know what I mean? Like, no, no, no. They have a lotter. A lot. Yes, they yeah. have a lotter. Is what <laughs> spiders have. So you just have hundreds or thousands of just so the bees. Yes, the bees. I've actually kind of wanted to be a beekeeper. I think that'd be fun. Now, the only caveat could to that, you do it? I need to be I need to be stung in a controlled environment first. I've never been stung. Is this a, a uh, worry about allergies yes, or a pain? Yes. In fact, I know it's super rare, but I literally just read a, the saddest story about a 37 year old firefighter who had never been stung got stung one time. 
oh, and passed. died. Jeez. Wow. Due to anaphylactic what? reaction. And because I'm 40 and never been stung, which Mike, you've never been stung. I've never been Jason, stung either. Never been stung. Somehow the three of us are putting off the get away from us pheromones for the bees. But I've never been stung. But if I, if you could sting me in a controlled environment and let me know that I'm going to be fine, I would 100% be able to do it. Like I've become more comfortable being around bees in general. And yeah. ha, did I told you about the drive through bee situation. Yes. I mean- uh, was that on the other show or I don't even yeah, know. It might have been on here. Who knows? I don't know. We do a lot of shows. <laughs> but I I mean, I was just like, hey, if I'm chill, the bees will be chill. Yeah. And that's the truth. It yeah. is. Because the, the beekeepers, yeah. I've had one come to my house, no gear, remove a, uh, a, a clump of bees. It wasn't a nest. It was like they were clumped up because they, you know how they travel? Yeah. yeah. And he removes them all from a tree. Thousands of bees, no gloves, no mask, no nothing. And I watched him do it. Yeah, I tell and my should, kids. He just tells the bees beforehand, yo, be chill. <laughs> when we're like out at a what pool a or something and a bee comes around, I always say, be calm. Be mm. calm. And the only stingers or the only stings I've ever, like our family's ever had, our kids and stuff, have always been stepped on a bee, sat on a bee, pinched a bee in the in the crink of your arm, whatever. It's always, you're squishing a bee and they're, it's their last resort. They're like, ah! <laughs> they're not like looking for you because they die after they sting you yeah it's a it's a it's a kamikaze bee situation yeah if, if i get it so beekeeper yeah someone be, stepped on me i'd sting sure. them too none of us want to mess with the spiders right i'm i don't i don't even know i'm still trying to figure out what the spider person would even do you they're just, just have a, an aquarium full of you're just breeding spiders to release into the wild there's no such thing as this right no i don't think so. i googled spider breeder yeah i'm not allowed have... to google that that's fine i'm hand, i'm taking care of it for you there's an adult in the room i bet Thank they breed uh i bet there's money to be made in the tarantula side maybe because those things are um i don't know tarantulas don't they do not bother me no me neither the jason's really i don't know why he, they're slow yeah. They just chill. They walk, they'll they go on hikes with you. I mean, they're fine. Uh, <laughs> next question. Would you rather have to bring your wife home? Wait, that didn't. That, that's not the sentence. Yeah. Uh, would you rather have your wife bring home? They're very a, different. A stray cat once in a while. Once in a while. Or have a dog that always goes to the bathroom inside the house. Uh. Occasional stray or regular doo-doo. Now- once the stray has been brought home, this is now our cat. I don't know if you got to. Well, until it becomes a stray again. I mean, is, this cat obviously at some point is just going to leave you. But, I mean, the the old adage of if you feed a stray. It, oh, because they hang out? Yeah. like they, It will now always come back. So if you, Oh, it's once a week, not once in a while. Okay, so what, once a week. I can't you're, read. You, this is reading once a week hard. you're adding. If you bring your wife home. <laughs> So, would you rather bring your wife home once a week <laughs> or I, uh, be a cat? <laughs> <laughs> be old Brasky. Um, so, I, my dog goes to the bathroom inside, or every year I'm acquiring 52 new cats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, that's that's true. Yeah, I can put piddle paddles down or whatever. The they're strays called. come home, they hang out for two days, then they leave. So, you do get a period of no pets okay. every week. You get two days of the stray. Okay, so that that means basically, because none of us are cat people here, you two are both allergic to cats, so the question is really, would you rather have a cat in your home two-sevenths of the week? In some ways, I feel like I would be allergic to uh, feces all over the place. You know what I mean? Oh, I do know what you mean. You know better than most. <laughs> I do do know what you mean, but I will say- I'm taking the dog. Yeah, <laughs> cats suck. Cats suck, man. Sorry, out there. And a stray cat, you, you, you know, you're if you're gonna get, here's the thing: if you're going to get 52 different stray cats, oh, you're getting some bad ones. Yeah, you're gonna get some bad ones. Yeah. And a bad cat, they can destroy your arm. You wanna, you wanna try to touch That's this cat? Point. It will, it will rip up your couch, your curtains, your flesh. No, you. I'm going dog, doggy doo doo. I just get into a habit. You know what I mean? Like three times a day, I got to walk the house and get rid of the doo doo. That's what you got to do. And then I'll have like, <laughs> maybe I'll have like um uh, some like carpet spray and stuff on like a holster, like a, like a holster. What, Amazon yeah. subscribe. 
Well, certainly. <laughs> but no, I, I mean, I, I've got to have it holstered because I'm oh, finding this nice. stuff all the time. And then I'm, I mean, is it better to live in a big house with a dog that no, poops everywhere? No, small Or house. a small house? Small. But the smell in yeah, a small house is- Yeah, the smell is, is a factor. It's 100% of the time. Trust me on this one. <laughs> but, you, but your problem is with a little dog. Yeah, your problem was, too many... was not with big dog, big bowel movement. Big Ooh. dog is un- big dog got a poop. Acceptable. Big dog got a poop is <laughs> that is. I've only had yeah, one. They do. I've only had one time ever where because I've got two big dogs and then I had that little tiny one that is uh, poop and pee fest. When we first moved into our house, I, I've only had one accident from a big dog ever in in as long as I can remember. When we first moved into this house, the first day, I think it was like the first minute in the house. We like we brought the dogs in. They were just and, christening the house. Yeah, and the first thing that our dog, who's totally potty trained, never has an accident, can't even imagine him having an accident, went right up near the back door and just took a massive man-sized dump. I mean, this thing was just up. It was like a, a child's arm. And... <laughs> Oh my yeah. sweet mercy. The whole house yes. for, for a while. See, smelled. That's what that's the smell I'm talking about. Oh yeah, that's of when you, you know, we just not just had it, but with our, our puppy when we were training him, uh, you know, we first got we leave the house, go do uh some sort of Christmas experience, and you come home, you the you the moment you open the door, you go Oh no! <laughs> yeah, you oh, know it. Oh no! There is a dog in a crate that has pooped and is now covered in poop, and it reeks. <laughs> I guess with the stray cat, you could have a you could have a cat room. So the stray cat gets oh, the room for this. Just this room belongs to the yeah, cat. Yeah, and there's a bunch of litter and stuff in there, right? And they and okay. you just you just okay. put the cat in there for two days and then let it go after that. Yeah, I mean you have to sacrifice something here, so just sacrifice a room. <laughs> Yes. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and move on here. Boy. Uh, yeah. I don't think spider breeders are real. <laughs> hey, Spitwads. Look, we have all been there. You've shown up at uh, an event and you put on the best clothes that you had. And then you make, you know, your, your significant other, maybe they notice, uh, uh, that's pretty wrinkly. And also you are underdressed and look, you've, You've maybe not been the best dressed in a room before. Uh, not anymore. Not anymore with Indochino. In fact, we've been big fans of Indochino for a really long time. I can remember um, Brooksy's uh, wedding, and we were we were going on to Indochino, and you measured myself in 10 minutes. Uh, Mike went to a showroom. You can do it either way, and you can wear your new look right out of the box, keep your budget unbusted by picking up a custom suit that fits your body because, look, all of our bodies, they're different. I got mine with like this cool uh, space inner lining on my jacket. And look, it is so easy. You can just go online, measure yourself, or if you don't want to do it, go to one of their showrooms. It's super fast, super easy. You can customize all sorts of stuff. And uh, I, I didn't, I, I, I've never looked better. Frankly, I was the best dressed in the room. And uh, they're designed to fit you. Endless customization options. Like I said, and they have all sorts of new colors and fabrics and stuff coming out all the time. So you can create a new look and not bust your budget. Dress better than the other guys with Indochino. Go to Indochino.com and use the code BALLERS to get 10% off any purchase of $3.99 or more. That's 10% off at I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O.com with that code BALLERS. <laughs> All right, it's time for our expertise once again. Uh, what is the difference between a chore, a task, and a project? Mm. Okay, this one's easy. This is I think very, that's, that's this not too bad. Very, a chore is repeated. A yeah. chore is not a one-off. I actually thought maybe the chore was something that had to be assigned to you. Sh- sure, but... Like it, you can't assign a chore to yourself? Yeah, you can. You can? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, okay. could, you could say I, you could say I do the trash, but it oh, is from back to my childhood. It's here. it's a it's something that has to be done repeatedly mm-hmm. so, over okay. over time, and it's it is also involved with just around the your home. And a project is obviously a one time larger big 
But it, but it's you're done. You finish a project. Yes, a, and, a project also ends in a thing. Okay, if you're working on a project, at the end of that yes, project, there's yeah, it doesn't have to, it can be digital. It can be but you're physical. So you're, so you're telling me like cleaning the house is not a project? No, exactly right. No, that's a chore. So it can't be a what if no. what about cleaning out the fridge? Is that a project? That's a that's, no, that's a chore. Yeah, I think that's a chore. That's a chore. That's a chore. That's a chore. That's so you okay, go ahead, Mike. Spring cleaning. Yeah, that that's a chore. Yeah, I think is it's still, it? I think it's you don't a get chore. anything at the end based on Jason. But I'm, I'm saying, is it a task? Because spring cleaning is it's the once a year deep clean. A task goes on a sticky note. Yeah, a task, a task <laughs> it has to be on a sticky note first to cross off. Yeah, you it, cross it, it off. Yeah, it's t it's certainly a one off. Um, you know, you you might do that again, but you don't know when. And you it's write it on like, a note like, before you like do. Like spring cleaning, I know when that is. Uh -huh. So every spring, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it, it can because so a chore can be yearly. It could be a yearly okay. chore. Okay, that's Absolutely. what I, yeah. I needed to define. Like every year, we change our sheets in our bed, like that. Do you really? No, of course oh, not. I was like, <laughs> wow, you, you we never are... change them. Um, all right, so <laughs> I think we figured that out. Yeah, that we said that one was easy. All right, what is the difference between soup, chowder, and a bisque? And I don't know chowder. the answer at this moment, but I know we'll figure it out momentarily. It's pronounced chowder. Chowder. Uh, a chowder is chunky. That's why they put the CH in the front of it. Is that, oh. why, is that why it's... That's why they say ch. It's the ch. same sound. Ch. And a chowder must also include something that starts with a C. There's, really? There's corn clam chowder, chowder, clam chowder, and clam chowder, corn chowder, and that's the end of the list. That's those the only, are the only two chowders. Those are the only chowders officially Hold recognized. On. Let chowders. me Google this. Why are you doing that? Because I just want to conf. You are right. That's crazy. <laughs> See, uh, yeah, corn and clam I are had, the I only didn't, chowders. I didn't even need to Google it. I already knew. A bisque sounds like the kind of soup a rich person eats. Like a, if you're poor, you have a soup. If you're okay. rich, you have to have a bisque. Well, the bisque is like a chowder, except it's all completely blended. It, there's no chunks. Oh, you oh, if you blend a chowder, you get a bisque? Chowder is chunky. Bisque, bisque. is creamy. It's smooth. Interesting. So it's... A, if you took a chowder... Yeah. And you, you blend it. It's you just, now a bisque? You just made a bisque. Really? Settled. Yeah. yeah. Figured and it soup, out. So then what's a soup? Soup has broth. Okay, but S but soup? you can't blend a soup and turn it into a bisque. Nah, because when you because it's broth, it's all broth. There's no cream. It's too thin. You can't have cream in a soup. It might it so might a still bisque live. Is a soup with with cream in it, or sure, it a was, blended it, it, chowder. Yeah, yeah. Maybe <laughs> Obviously, they started as a soup and then you put cream in it, made it a bisque, or you put some chunks in it, made it a chowder. Yeah, I mean, what what other bisques are there besides tomato? Uh, lobster. Lo oh, oh yeah, yeah, lobster, lobster bisque. bisque. I love it. That's not gonna be drafted. Um, yeah. T oh man. Okay, so it's just real creamy, real chunky, real thin. Exactly right. No, it, no, it was easy too. What's the difference between being crazy, insane, and demented? Ooh, <laughs> I like it. You would. You're one of these three. Wait, guess which one? Uh, I hope it's not demented because okay. de demented is evil. If you're that's such a good way to figure this one out is like, which would you rather be called? Oh, yeah. Which would I'd you rather be called crazy. Well, the crazy gets crazy, crazy and insane for trying those. Both of those words get just thrown around all the time. They're, yeah, they're to the point where they've kind of lost that's their crazy, meaning. Mike. Yes, they definitely yes. lost their meaning, right? Yeah. They're just little throwaway things. They're, Long ago, there were deal. insane asylums. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where they yeah. put people. Crazy is like, I had too much sugar. You know what I mean? You're too hyper. You're, you're Or just, like you went crazy because yeah. you were like. Yeah, you can go crazy. You cannot be, but like. But you can go crazy and you can come back? Yeah, exactly. An right. insane person. You don't come back. You can't come back. You can't go in and out of insanity. You're an insane person. But you're not, like, you're not trying to take over the world. Right. Like a demented then person? Then you would be demented. Demented people. They got the demon in them. Oh, is that where the word came from? That is that demon? has demented. Now, did it start like 
It was just a guy named Ted, and he got a, a demon. Yeah, it was like, oh. Demon Ted! Demon and then Ted? we all just misheard it, and we just used that now. That is actually where it I, came from. Demon Ted is the son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, he started a bad trend. Keeps trying to take over so you the world. Can, anybody can dip into crazy anytime they want. Yeah, yeah, I go crazy all the time. Like, so I have a bad call at an NFL game. You you go crazy. Oh, right I, go, I get yeah. so Temporary. crazy. Temporarily. Right. Oh, but there is temporary insanity. Oh, oh no. no. Which implies that regular insanity is <laughs> Oh, that's right. not temporary. So temporary insanity, yeah. man, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between uh an explosion, an eruption, and a blast? Well, a blast is super fun. <laughs> um obviously that's you know, you're having a blast. Uh an eruption must an go eruption, up into the sky. It, well, an eruption has to. It's a buildup what from inside. Erupt? What what things erupt? Uh, Mike on uh, inside of the taxi cab. An yeah. eruption has to have a funnel. Yeah. It, it, Shape. It, well, it projects from one spot. That's an upside down funnel. I'm I'm saying like it goes it's, into a spout. Oh, like a so a, a geyser is that a yeah an that eruption? Would, that yes. would be an eruption. Absolutely. An explosion and goes, a volcano, obviously. An explosion goes three sixty. An explosion goes in all directions. Interrupt, not down. Well, I'm just saying if you if you if you throw a grenade in the okay, in yeah, the yeah. air, then it does. It does a full three. It does a full three sixty. Yeah. Obviously, if it's on the ground, is I a mean, blast something with a purpose? A blast is a small explosion. Oh, it is smaller. Yeah, it's controlled. So if you were going to try to open up some of the mountain for like a thorough, like to put a a, a road through it, yeah, you'd blast it's it. It's not open. explosion. No. There's blasting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what the signs say. Or, Beware of blasting. Right. It's also an awesome fart. Like if you yes. really yeah. like yeah. you just do one of them kick farts with oh. the like, You're talking crazy, about that's a blast? Oh, that is both a blast because it's fun, <laughs> but it's also like, oh, I blasted that have, fart. Let me ask you something privately. Bef okay. Have you just ever Just between me and you? Have you ever had a blast turn into an eruption? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if if you gamble <laughs> at the wrong time, I, yes. I will say yes. you can also do it at the right time because I've had a blast on the toilet. Oh, <laughs> and then it's like, oh, baby, okay. now it's an eruption. We, we were having some fun. I was blasting farts onto that water and then. Oh, no! <laughs> come on. What? Come on, man. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that, that story was not a blast to tell you that. Okay. Man, uh, we, we learned so much. Yeah, one one more for you. Um, what is the difference between rage, anger, and hatred? Rage, anger, anger and hatred. I mean, hatred is it's obviously hatred is a permanent. It has to be aimed at one thing. Hatred does. It can't be just. You can't just be like, I have a lot of hatred, but it right. Like you have to hate things. Yeah, like a Prius. Right. Like you I have, hate, I hate, or drivers of Prius. You hate them too. I I hate a, a moving Prius and all inside. So, but like rage a and moving? anger can be what like if it's parked. It's so much better parked. <laughs> it's so I I feel like it can't hurt me. Okay. So I feel like rage and anger though. Those are things that like something like a Prius could cause you to get angry, but then you could carry that anger around, and then that you're an angry person. And then you get angry with someone else because of the previous hatred. Rage to me is action based on anger. Yeah, like you're angry, but when you're ra if you if An you uncontrollable go, rage, if you don't throw a glass, yeah, you not, uh, you don't got rage. You have to have at least hit something. Oh yeah, slam you your hand slam, on a table. The, you slam a table. You hit a wall. Oh, you went from angry to rageful. Yeah, you 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 know you do you do something you rip a throat you know you <laughs> you just you yeah. rip a throat yeah. you know, i mean there's a wide scale somewhere between slapping, slapping a, table a table and ripping someone's throat out yeah but that's still all, rage that's all rage that's rage because it caused action can rage last as long as anger no you can't stay in rage no mode. i feel like the if, if you wanted to and you can't rage all the time no i feel like anger is It'll like burn out. it's like a like a pot that's uh bubbling right but like rage is like if you if the when the, it boils when over, it boils over forgot yeah. the wooden spoon on the top mm. yeah I, I, haven't I haven't tried that yet oh you it's it's, it's but amazing. I, I don't feel like hatred is belongs in this category hatred is is deep emotional and is so close to love 
What? There's a fine line between lo- fine line between what? love and hate. There is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just you ask can, him about Hitler. You could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just <laughs> saying. Oftentimes, you end up hating what you once loved. In, uh, except for the one I just said. Well, right. I said oftentimes. I mean, times. Not this isn't a hundred percent. I right. mean, what? Give me an example. Like so, an ex. You know what I mean? Like you. It was because you the loved the letter. No, Mike, <laughs> you dummy. Man. Give me, you get know the, what? Yeah, give me something there. You just disrupted all for a non-joke. All right, go on, Jason. Um, I'm saying like, you know, when you fall in love with someone. You hate them. That is, that is, there are good You're odds that someday you might feelings. hate them. Yeah. So when you, yeah, I, I mean, I've heard that before. I guess I just don't understand it. Well, we're we're here to make things understandable. But Do you understand it now, Mike? No, I don't know <laughs> anything that's happening right now. When, He's focused on the letter. When you when you have which your I hate full emotions, like like hate is far more emotional. It's not just like a a physical. Oh, I'm so angry. I it's think like, those are all emotional. This is this, but, but this I get is what at you're the saying. heart it's, level. It, it's directed. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I mean, there is a source. There is a there is a, a singular source. Would you rather someone hate you, uh, be angry at you, or I, I don't want them to rage at me? Don't rage at you? No, because then, then they're going to strike me. Now, what happens when people go to ragers? If you go to a rager, that's a party, right? Yes, that's real intense. It's a real angry party. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of action <laughs> happening there. All right, we're we're gonna move on. Okay, please. The Spitballers Draft. Well, today we are drafting the worst four course meal. Each of us have four picks. You may select a dessert, a main course, an appetizer, and a beverage or drink, whatever you want to call it. Yep. And uh, Jason, you have the first pick. They, these are always fun because there's some gamesmanship, right? Like, you know, we only can pick one yeah, of each you category. Get category. Yeah. So Jason, you he's, are he's already cracking himself up I, here. I, I'm cracking myself up because I made a list and I could only come up with two appetizers that I didn't like. So I love appetizers. Okay. Because you're like I need, and so now you like you better grab one because it then, could get stolen. Right. But then I thought of the perfect appetizer. I was like, oh, that's it. For a bad meal. That's my number one pick. And so I added it to my list. And I just went back to my list, and that is gone. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't save, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, no. My number one pick. <laughs> what is that happening? Not, your favorite you, you pick. You can gamble with it if everything. you remember on the way back. Oh, man. I'm going to remember. You can't remember. It's going to come to me. Um <laughs> Nope. Any moment. Any now. moment now. Okay. Well, um, gosh, that's not good. Uh, who? Good to see it starting well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's your number one pick? My number one pick. Um, you know, I'm I'm trying to go with things that um, people like. You know what I mean? Like, sure. There are, you know, the, w- the, those of us in this room, super smart. There's dumb people out there. Hmm. And they like bad things. And so um, I I want to teach them to stop ordering. He's, he's still and trying to remember. Things. He's still yeah, trying to remember. He is. So I'm gonna go with something that I've been told is good. I've had people look me dead in the face and say, "Oh, you haven't had it this way," and I'm like, "What are you talking about? You are, you are make you are lying You've to yourself." Had this. I have had it. Okay. It's eggplant and- parmesan. Oh, dude, that that's. That's nasty bullcrap. It is. What awful. are we doing? So that's, Why? That's a main course. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the entree. Main course, eggplant parmesan. It's like I say. Oh, I. Oh. I hate eggplant, and I say that because it's disgusting. It's terrible. And then they go, Oh no 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> eggplant parmesan, so good. I'm like, No, it's not. No, it is not. You want to know what it is? It's the healthier version of something that is delicious, and and so you convince yourself it's okay. It is disgusting. So eggplant parmesan will not be on my. It is demented. <laughs> yeah, just so. All gross. right, so no uh, eggplant parmesan. You're, you're you're serving a okay. okay wow, yeah, there you go. All right. Well, my first pick, I'm gonna go the dessert route. Yes. Yeah, I no. 
Because he knows. I know what you're going to He knows. Pick. We just had a big yeah. conversation about it. Because it's called fake good. It looks good. It ain't sweet. Uh, it sucks. Everyone thinks yeah. that they're going to like it. But guess what? You just finished your meal, and they're bringing you out a nice plate of cannolis. They look so good. They should be so good. They You're look telling perfect. me that this, this crispy <laughs> donut-looking shell yeah. with a delicious cream inside, powdered sugar, maybe some... maybe some uh, Like a couple of chocolate, chocolate chips. chips on it. Oh, my gosh. And then every bite is, like, so disappointing. I'm just... I'm it, not, that's a letdown dessert. I'm not even mad. I'm just disappointed. Because when like, they serve it, and... Oh, it's dessert time. I still order them. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, do you have any dessert? We and only they break have cannolis. I'm like, all right, I'll take some. And then they deliver them, and I get excited it's, they're again. Not, they're not sweet. They're not sweet. Why don't we put sugar in them? I don't know. That's like a, a, a an Italian not trick. The, the, the Italians are tricking us with them cannolis. We need to make American cannolis. That's what we call them. American cannolis, and everyone will know, oh, this is like super full of sugar and fat. Yeah, that'd be better. Like, darn right. But yeah, and they break apart, too. They're all flaky, so you not only do you not bite it like a normal, you know, like a donut or something where it's like chewy and delicious, it breaks apart and not sweet. I think cannolis suck. Okay. And that is why it's part of my terrible four-course meal. I totally understand. And you knew that. I was going there, Mike, huh? Yeah, I, it was, I would have taken it yeah, right away. Yeah, because we, that's the, the part by of this, the way, for all of you out there that are going, I love cannolis. No, you don't. We got like <laughs> 10, 12 people in this office. I don't remember anymore how many. They all hated cannolis when we talked about this. Here, there wasn't because, one defender. Because it's disappointing. But we do actually... We want to like them. We, we, we want to like them. And we do convince ourselves we like them sometimes. Like, when I hear cannoli, I'm like, oh, that sounds good. Right off the bat, I'm like, oh, wait, I like cannolis. And people listening are thinking, wait, I like cannolis. And Mike's right. No, you don't. Yeah. E e eat one, and you'll go, oh, this cannoli is not that good. You have a Let me fake, find a good one. You have a fake memory of you loved a cannoli at that size. <laughs> I swear I, I had a good one somewhere. I can't one remember somewhere. where it was. It was so good. No, it's a memory in your head of what it looks like it should taste like. <laughs> like it looks like it should taste delicious. Yeah. It's so bland. All right, Mike, you got two picks. All right. You can be strategic here. And that uh, part of, uh, I believe part of my plan will be, there's some foods where I just, I don't agree. I think it tastes bad. Oh, no, did you remember? I remember. Oh, bad. dang it. Let's get it before it comes back to him. <laughs> I got to write it down. <laughs> is there's food that I think is bad, and then there's just food that's that's disappointing, like a cannoli. Uh, but we're going to start it off. I'm. Uh, let me just double check. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start it off with my beverage. Hmm. I don't understand it. I will take <laughs> clamato. Oh, uh, it's yeah. on my list. Yeah, I have tomato juice at number one. What are we? Why are we doing this? Why are we putting clam in juice? So that's like a tomato clam juice. Yeah. Yes. Which, uh, by the way, I know a lot of people flavored like with spices, dried clam broth. I also know that why? Jason likes the drink that's related ish not the clam part but like you like bloody marys i do like bloody, bloody marys Mary. are, are terrible too i ah, mean they're very good they're like they're who right. wants to drink some spicy yeah. tomato re Ooh, refreshing uh, yeah i'm i'm not in with that one okay either. but like, clamato okay yeah like a people have a bloody mary in the morning it's like day's done but you should have ruined it, with... it i have indigestion all day <laughs> 100%. Does this and come with spicy? Tums? Yes, they're spicy. I don't know what we're doing with that, but anyways, back to clamato juice. What clam? What? It yeah. was the last two what things they had doing? in the factory. The factory was done packaging this stuff. They're like, uh, we got some clams and tomatoes left over. What if we make a drink? And I, although I've never had it, because there's clam in it, <laughs> it's disgusting. Yeah, if someone served me a meal, because that's how I'm picturing this. I want us to be, we're, we're at a restaurant and they're bringing four courses. And if they're like, here's your beverage, sir. And it's a glass of Clamato. Yeah, that's not happening. All right. And then I'm going to also take my appetizer. Ooh. And it's, it, the honest truth is, it's not that this is necessarily like disgusting. It's just like, oh, it's a vegetable soup. Just a, oh. just a. Vegetables. I did. Put, I love I, a good vegetable. You no, know, I, I put what? Veg, I put vegetables at number two on my appetizers because you, you like who a the heck wants vegetables? You want so when you go and they're like, "What's the soups?" Well, we have a 
uh, uh, you can get a tomato bisque, or we have a Clam vegetable chowder soup, or some vegetable medley. You're going to pick the vegetable soup? Not certainly not always, but I don't always pick one thing. I have different moods, Mike. Sometimes I do order vegetable soup. Now, by choice, by you choice. have a veggie by mood. Choice. Boo! Don't hear what I'm not saying. If next to it was a vegetable and beef soup, soup like the same. Yeah. Exact thing. They just add some chunks of meat. Yeah. I will never order the vegetable soup. I would prefer to have some chunks of meat. But the vegetable soup broth is good. The, the broth is good. Do you eat the vegetables? No. Yes, I eat the vegetables. Oh, okay. okay. The okay. only like time a, I, I order don't. vegetable soup is when they include the calorie count on the menu. <laughs> and I can see what the other soups are. And I go, okay, I'll take the vegetable oh, one man. Because it's only 80 calories. But my mouth isn't happy. Yeah, and I guess making a a, a bad four course meal, cal it's just, calorie counting would be on there. It's just dis it's disappointing. It's a disappointing way to start uh, your meal. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know what? I have my pick here, and um, Jason's already taken his main course, right? Mm -hmm. That is correct. And it circles back to me, mm -hmm. so I don't have to take a main course because I can take it with my next pick. That correct. is correct. Which means that um, I can select either an appetizer or a drink. I guess I'm going to go appetizer, and we're going to go with some fish soup. Okay. We're going what fish. is a fish soup? We're going fish soup. Fish I have soup. never heard of that. That's because it's, it's almost been – it's like almost – it's like smallpox. We've almost gotten rid of it. <laughs> We've almost gotten rid of that it. That sounds awful. Yeah. there's and, and the real – you see, I don't know if you picked it up, but the worst part about it is the fish. You know, the soup, <laughs> right. the soup part is – the soup part is fine, but – you know the fish soup cannoli combo so far, I think is pretty pretty nasty. Okay. So I okay. mean, I'm going fish soup, Jason. We'll get it back to you. I'm guessing fish soup wasn't the thing fish you remembered. Fish soup was not the thing I remembered. I did remember my appetizer. It's a food made by combining fish or seafood with vegetables in stock. Yeah, I did this remember like my soup, my appetizer. Um, however, you have both now taken your appetizer, uh, right? Yeah. So this will oh, my, this will be my the first pick point. will be my final pick. Um, which I'm just now realizing, which means not prepared uh, for. <laughs> so, you know, you were had two picks. Here, all right, no uh, matter what. So I'm taking my dessert and my drink together. Mike. Oh, because you're back to back. Yeah, I'm back to back. Uh, Mike, I'm so upset at who you've become. Mm. Because we used to hate this. Together. Oh, brother. Oh. Oh brother! I'm taking an I know. I, yeah. I, I'm taking an IPA. Yeah, because they're disgusting, delicious. They <laughs> taste like earwax. What happened to you, Mike? I became sophisticated. I mean, no one hated IPAs more than you, and now you're like, yeah. now you go places and you go, do you have an IPA? You're one of those guys. Yeah, I'm like, hey, what's uh, give me the menu. Give me oh my one. gosh, they they're just they taste like earwax. They're so hoppy. And they're so bad. Like I, I don't think I could drink one. You put down like a, a a big mug of an IPA. I'd be like, ooh, that looks good. Let me have a sip of this beer. And I'd take a sip, and I'd be like, <laughs> I don't think I could drink it. I, uh, I don't blame you. I understand. I was one of you, but I mean, let this be a lesson. Everyone's like, can change. I, I can't change. I'm, I'm changed. My, I was forty years old before. I was like, oh. I guess I like this now. You, there may be hope for lemon desserts now. Could be. Oh, he's an open-minded man. All right. I like the open-mindedness, Which Mike. is great, considering his takes were always terrible with food. So yeah, because maybe he's got an open mind now. Well, apparently they still are with IPAs. Um, <laughs> all right. they're, they're just so bitter. They're so bitter. <laughs> yes. Wait, have you become so bitter with life that it now fits? Yeah, it, match, like, it matches mm, the taste. It tastes of, like my, my heart. <laughs> this yeah. tastes like life. <laughs> Um, Why be happy with this? All right. So I've got my dessert to take, and I'm going to take something that no one eats. No one eats. No one eats. But so many people receive it every year. It's fruitcake. Dude, it's on my, it, was yeah. the, it was my number That's two. That's your dessert then. Yeah, yeah. my dessert yeah. is fruitcake. Like, what do you – why – why do we still make things that we invented a hundred years ago when that was all we could do? I'm telling you, that's where the cannolis are from. The hundred years ago, the old when world. that was sweet compared to the coal they were eating. They're usually dry-ish. They're just they're like, weird because they're like moist and dry at the same time. They're just awful. Tech. You're Physically, grossing me out talking about. They've got it. little tiny. I, I don't even know that you can call them fruit. They're like plastic pieces of fruit in the 
As- the- I'm talking aesthetically. Oh, aesthetically. It, it's disgusting. Yeah. It's just- What look- are we doing? It looks like something that has been digested. You know how the, you, you, you go and you, you look and it's like, oh, yeah, there's corn in, in that. That's what this cake looks like. It's a good pick. It makes sense. It's a terrible dessert. And um, look, for my main course, I'm going to go with that now. My main course, you pay up for it. It looks terrible. It's the opposite of a cannoli. And it is the consistency of snot. So I'm going with oysters. Yeah. Because, oh, yeah. ew. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, I don't need to say anything else. Like, like they should bring, like, if you accidentally order them and it comes to your table, they should go, here you go, sir. Oh, by the way, ew. They're, they're, I, they're snotty. They, I recently had, like, my first oyster. And? It was. Don't you dare. No, it was IPA boy. It was not something I would ever want, but it was my final decision was I could make this happen. Like if if I wow. had if, if I had, had to. If you were forced to do snot shots, if I had to do it, I could I can make now, it did, happen. But it, this you, is not something chew, I would do. Do you chew it? A little bit. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's one of those like I I it's more, it's more like a like a tongue mash. You just kind of what? Press Wait, it do you up. even taste it? The taste yeah. is... It tastes fishy. It, it, tastes, it tastes fishy, which is why people usually put Tabasco sauce on it. To cover so the fish all taste. you taste is Tabasco sauce. It's like, if you had Tabasco snot, you could pay a lot <laughs> and have that. All right. Uh, who's up, Mike? I am up with two more my, picks. my two final picks. Um, so I'll start with the dessert. And this is this is more of a... It's just disappointing. Imagine you had a great meal. Everything was delicious, and then they just come out and they say, "Here's a fortune cookie." Oh yeah, yeah. So here's the problem. And you go, okay. When I was when I was <laughs> I, I guess when I, I was looking so. up desserts, I was I I kept seeing those as like very oh dis- they were popping up they were popping up as like you know bad desserts and it and it's true because it's like fortune cookies aren't good. You you're not like look but but I still like them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're not they're 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 a worthless dessert. I mean, they're so worthless. Have they're they just ever included. been? Yeah, they're just that's what I was going to say. Has anybody ever like seen them on a dessert menu where they're like, <laughs> you have I'd to like order a large. I, give me the large <laughs> fortune cookie, please. I don't know. But is there I feel like they're just always disappointing. When, when Both you eat the it, fortune and the cookie. It's more I'm talking about the, the taste. It's just like it's got a good crunch. But okay. but it's not it, it is. After the fortune cookie has been eaten, it has not satisfied the sweet tooth or anything that you're hoping for when you get something that's called a cookie. Okay, yeah, makes sense. And like then, the, the the fortune inside literally says you are somewhat dissatisfied right yeah, now. <laughs> you are about to be very disappointed. And for my main course, and I know of this because of my uh, my Nordic heritage. I don't know why this is a thing. Do we know of it? Uh, you may have heard the name. Are you familiar with Ludafisk? Yeah, it's on my list. It is Are you on my list. With Ludafisk. I've heard it. What is it? Luda. Uh, Ludafisk is a dried white fish, usually cod, um, cured in lye. It is made from aged stockfish or dried and salted cod. The fish takes a gelatinous texture after being rehydrated for days prior to eating. No, it's that supposed, sounds not good, man. It's supposed to have one of the worst smells too, right? Oh like, yeah. Oh, that's the that oh, is what yeah. I know it from. But it's like, hey, let's take this fish, let's soak it in poison, <laughs> then we'll rinse it off so it's not poisonous anymore, and we'll make it jello. That does make me wish I had taken a puffer fish for my main course. Oh, I thought about it. Just because, so you could be dancing with the devil. Because you might die. <laughs> like you don't there's no cure for it. All I the the only thing I know you of just puffer die. fish is the simpsons episode yeah i mean well I, I just read about somebody that bought a puffer fish and tried to prepare it themselves Ooh. they're not with us anymore oh no yeah they died yeah don't even don't. because they ate a food you, that you they could a, die eating gotta be a professional yeah which how did how, how did they lo- get to the point yeah of let's give this a go you're like oh we i think this part's okay let's <laughs> test it <laughs> yeah. let's find out no nope. ted yeah 
They just had you had to have like twenty people in a line. Yeah, all willing to like Test take one for the team, and then and then the eleventh person lived, and then they're like, "That's the part. I mean, That's the part you could eat." I've I've never had it, but how good can it be? It can't be good enough to accidentally it's de- die. It's a super delicacy too. Um. All right, my final pick is my drink. So why not? Uh, while you're sitting down with your your fish soup and your oysters and your cannolis. Enjoy just a refreshing, tall glass of skim milk. <laughs> oh, that's a great pick. Yeah, just a tall glass of <laughs> milk water. How about disappointing. I mean, just <laughs> skim milk. You don't feel like you did anything. Skim milk satisfies nothing. <laughs> nothing. I know. It's so thin. Did you ever go to a friend's house for like a sleepover and then- like, Oh, yeah. They have, were skim milk and family? And they were skim milk family and you're like, what are we doing here? Yeah, there was- I am. Uh, this is water. We it's milk water. No, and there was like a weird time in our lives where you think they were pushing some, skim milk somehow, on us. Somehow, somehow, fatty milk became like public enemy number one. Mm-hmm. And it was like my house. We were a skim milk house. For you a were while. a skim milk house. My we, cousin's house was a skim milk. Oh, house. we didn't have the guts, I was, man. I was a skim milk. We house. got to one percent, but you that could, was it. You could not escape skim milk. And then I, I, we finally broke free of this. And I'm a, I'm a strong two percent milk man. We, our house is still. Usually, two, you go two percent. You're a two percent. You wait, dude. What? Our house is usually still skim milk. Why? I don't know. I don't drink milk, man. It's not. You don't for have me. a bowl it's of cereal. Other... I haven't had cereal in a long. You time. You want to know why? Because I got skim milk. Yeah. Because I wouldn't want to have cereal with that either. Two percent is the right milk. You make your children drink skim milk? I don't, they no, don't have nobody. To drink dr- it. No, Mike, we, we Mike, throw it out no, every month. <laughs> nobody drinks it in this house. They just buy it. Yeah. Nobody drinks milk they in the morning. Let house. it go bad and then dump it. Yeah. 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 All right, Jason, your final pick. Now, this is the secret pick that you had yeah. stashed away that should have been number one. That's so right. So it's, it's to your advantage that you forgot it. It was because I was able to draft other things and still get it with the last pick. I too, Andy, am taking oysters. Uh yeah, but I'm that taking, was on, that was on my list. I'm taking the Rocky, Rocky Mountain. Mountain oysters, which are not oysters but testicles. <laughs> they are they are commonly eaten. Yeah, no, wait, fried wait. goat balls. I that, thought it was a bowl. Is this an is appetizer for you? Yeah, that's my appetizer. Th- this is a very common appetizer. Oh, I I talked to Schneider. Schneider uh, has had them, um, and he said because they're deep fried usually. So he said he said they taste fine. Uh, let me let me get his uh, exact quote here. Oh, you you did some research. Yeah, they taste fine, but texture is as unpleasant as you might suspect. <laughs> and if I don't know, I don't know that I could eat them. I don't know if you put knowing what they the mental were hurdle. the mental hurdle of putting this plate down and you put two little Rocky Mountain oysters, <laughs> um, just a I pair. Th- just a pair. Yeah, that's how they're usually served is in I, two. Come on. No, it's I like, mean, come on. You're not going to – how – you're serving balls. <laughs> it, they, it is what it is. Yeah. Two, it's two or four, though, right? Right. It's just two. You you order you order Sir. two orders, you're getting two plates. Sir, each plate Herschel with two. the cow. Yeah. So um, – and it's got a lot of names. Oh. Yeah. I, I, uh. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh. Names for this show? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think they're. I, I think they're. Uh, uh, You're pulling them up. Well, that sounds I, bad. I I appreciate the not trying to be wasteful. Yeah. Of the if if we're gonna eat this animal, let's it's, let's let's try and use everything you, you possibly can. But cowboy I, caviar was what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, have you guys had? certain new animals you've tried to eat that oh, because man. horse like yes, horse yeah b- because they're a different animal like you can't get over the mental hurdle eating them uh i don't think i've come across see that, no. there's been a couple of those like i couldn't like for some reason i can't i can't enjoy duck oh, oh okay. duck's delicious because it's a different it's just like this isn't the this isn't the animal i'm used to eating <laughs> yeah i get that and uh i think another one was it wasn't venison but it was like I don't know. Veal? Maybe it was veal. Which one's which? I always get those two mixed up. Venison and veal. One of them's like a baby cow and one of them's a- veal. One of them's a- Venison's a um, a deer, right? Yeah. yeah. Veal, uh, veal is, is the meat of- Yeah. Cow. I think is... it was venison that I had the problem with because I'm like, ah, I'm eating Bambi. <laughs> I've I've had Ru- or, uh, Rudolph. 
<laughs> You've had Rudolph? Yeah, I've had reindeer up when I was in the I was in my homeland of the the Nordic area. So when you did that, was it first bite? You're in. It, it was fine. It's weird, right? But it, you're he's saying no mental hurdle. It wasn't. No, 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 yeah, no. I don't think you were like, what's Santa hurdle? gonna do this year? No. <laughs> the only mental hurdle that I would have is like obviously Rocky Mountain oysters or or something that I know is like octopus, which I've had. In, too chewy, man. Yeah, I just there's something weird. You do, do you do uh, calamari? I do do calamari. Yeah, I love I, calamari. I actually there's a calamari is one of those foods where it's like if I get a good calamari, I love it because it's not too chewy. But if you get a bad calamari, it's like gum. It's the worst of and the I, worst, it's and I hate it. One of the widest. Usually, you can't have a very large range of outcomes on fried food, but calamari has such a range. You order good calamari, it's unbelievable now you order bad calamari and it's disgusting inedible why then would you continue to order it because the good calamari is it's just really quite good. Good. It's quite so good. good so good all right just to run it back huh. as we close things out and i have a couple uh honoring mentions i want to bring up jason eggplant parmesan ipa beer fruitcake and rocky mountain oysters i've got the uh i guess i should do it kind of in order here but i've got the fish soup as an appetizer the oysters is my main course, uh, with a glass of skim milk and some cannolis at the end. Skim milk, is, and then Mike brutal. Mike has got a glass of clamato, uh, <laughs> some vegetable soup, uh, some lutefisk, is Lut that? lutefisk, lutefisk, and then finishing with a fortune cookie. To it's not going to be strong enough to take that lutefisk no, taste out of his no, mouth. No, it is not. Uh, I did. I write. It, I wrote it down, but it's still a burger, so I couldn't pick it. But man, when you get served a burger that's a mile high. Oh, I like you can't hate eat it. it. It's I not possible. It. What are we talking about? Just like a, I'm talking like, a, like the, with the burgers, big, like a big tall thick burger. You go to not a the fancy burger place, itself, but like all the toppings, so and many all things stuff. on it, and it's you, so tall. There's no chance yeah. any human could put their mouth from the top bun to the bottom bun. It's why are you serving me? You got to cut cut it in half. I but do you, cut you, it. Your in half. mouth you doesn't still, fit that big. Yeah, but if well, once you cut it in half, you can you have a corner you can kind of pinch it down. I I mean I do this, man. We live this. We tried it out. I do what we I don't can got the mouth you got when I, I get guess. that, but it's <laughs> there's still limitations. There's no reason to do it. There's no re it's chefs stop doing it. It's not fancy. It's stupid. But also with burger, I had uh, portobello mushroom burger. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, let's like, take you just, out with a it's, mushroom. It's a burger. It's just a big slab of mushroom. I mean, that's yeah. that's basically eggplant parmesan. It's like, oh, yeah, you want you yeah. want this fried parmesan? Yeah. I also wrote there's eggplant. In it. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. I wrote uh, a big salad down for my main course because who wants a big salad for their main <laughs> course? A big salad? I'm not I, a rabbit. I've got, uh, I've got. let's see, kombucha for the drink. Sure. Uh, the one time I had it was terrible. Uh, liver and onions. Oh, That's one of those where it might be good. I don't know. I will never be able to eat it knowing it's liver. Um, and then tapioca pudding. <laughs> Tap yeah, that's another one of them old ones. Tapioca, tapioca pudding is just... Pudding that's gone bad. It's a, it's a great word, though. <laughs> Tapioca. <laughs> yeah. What did we learn today? I learned that, that if you blend chowder, it turns into a bisque. I mean, I wasn't aware. Yeah, well, that's why we teach you things. I learned about Demon Ted, uh, <laughs> the originator of being demented. Yeah. And I learned that spider breeders are probably not uh, real. Uh, probably. Jason, I want you to do the research that it takes to find out if that's a real job. Then you will own half of the company because I will be dead. All right. That'll do it. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.